ladies and gents, how long has it been? Weeks? Months? Perhaps even years? <laughs> I know, I know, it has been uh, some time, but what can I say? As of late, it has just been uh, an increasingly difficult affair to find opportunities to just sit down and record. Uh, sweet, sweet time of spring. The noisy birds outside, people working, the occasional storm, it is great, ah, so great, but uh, I don't care anymore, nope, I no longer care, I just uh, want to make progress, uh, you see, I want to play the damn game, and uh, I bet you want to see progress as well, some of you, anyway, uh, therefore, without further further ado, let us continue the journey, shall we? So, ah, my greetings, good day, ah, missed saying that, my greetings, good day, and welcome back into the disturbing world of Let's Replay, Cry of Fear. As you uh, can see, we are back here, the area where we found uh, both the lighter and uh, the shotgun, yeah, but uh, I did not walk all the way back here. Instead, uh, I just uh, loaded up an older save file. But why? Well, because I'd like to show something off now. Perhaps you uh, remember when we uh, first passed through this area. I mentioned that it might be possible to trigger an optional slash hidden cutscene in which Simon here is gonna pick up one of the cigarettes from that in their desk and then he is gonna proceed to smoke it. Yeah, but unfortunately at the time I didn't know how to trigger it. Well, thankfully, ever since uh, one of you out there, you know who you are, was kind enough to send me detailed instructions. And now uh, we can sit down and watch the cutscene. Isn't that grand now? Ah, this fella. <laughs> Certainly a disturbing world, alright. As you uh, can see, the lighter is gone. But why? Uh, well, because I uh, already picked it up there. <laughs> this is also, by the way, of course, the reason why I had to load up an older save file. Because on our main one, the lighter is already gone. The puzzle consumed it. Uh, whatever sense that makes. Now, uh, what do you think must happen here in order to smoke a cigarette? What do you think must happen? Uh, we have got the lighter and we have got some cigarettes. Hmm. Hmm. I am thinking. Oh, this isn't quite and complex. Uh, no wonder I wasn't able to figure it out. I uh, wasn't able to connect the dots. Uh, Alright, I am just uh, gonna say it. Use the lighter on the cigarettes. Yeah, ach, simple as that. <laughs> I know, right? Uh, well, at the time, I just uh, I didn't think of doing that. And I don't know why. <laughs> now then, ach, like I said, let us watch that cutscene. Shall we? Enjoy, ladies and gents. <laughs> ah, quite the sight to behold. And we have done it. Indeed. Uh, that was the hidden cutscene. The optional one. <laughs> Uh, I have to admit, that was uh, quite delightful, how Simon stood there, and then he looked over at the body, as if saying, uh, so, you, uh, you come here often? <laughs> or maybe, uh, maybe, so, uh, you've been having a rough day too? Yeah, tell me about it. <laughs> uh, well... I do wonder, I wonder how many people, uh, people who've played Cry of Fear, have actually uh, witnessed that cutscene. 
An interesting question. Uh, well, just look at me. I love this game to death. Uh, I, I played it uh, thoroughly, I wanna say, nine years ago, but I never stumbled upon this here cutscene. Well, I hope uh, it was enjoyable. A uh, short lived moment of respite, but now it is over. Back into the trenches, unfortunately. Back into the trenches. And perhaps soon we are gonna be able to make some use of that shotgun. Oh friend, uh, rest in peace, rest in peace. Now then, uh, these tunnels. Gotta love them. Uh, back into where we are supposed to be. In three, two, one. And now, we are back here. Yes, indeed. I believe over a month later, beholding the great enemy which we felt, the maze. Ah, we certainly encountered it, faced it, and then defeated it. Yes, indeed, yes, indeed. But unfortunately, ah, we are not yet done with it. Oh, no. Next, we must find a tool, preferably ah, a saw or something, because this ah, lovely Numbering behemoth, he swallowed a key, and I would like to have it. A key uh, which that poor unfortunate soul uh, had to die over. Uh, well, I didn't kill him, the doctor did. Uh, speaking of the doctor, uh, when last we left off, an important question got answered, uh, one which we had been asking ourselves ever since the beginning of chapter 2. Who is that doctor? Well, it turns out he is uh, quite the psychopath. <laughs> uh, one of uh, violent tendencies and um, irrational behavior and so on and so forth. Uh, he decapitated that guy and then I believe he left through that door. Right. Ah, Simon, I don't think uh, we should associate ourselves with him. No, definitely not. Ah, isn't it funny? When first we met that guy, I was all like, oh, thank God, a human being. Ah, one who can actually talk. One who is uh, behaving kinda rationally. I take all of that back. He is quite the fucked up individual. Ah, looks like we are on our own again. And to hell with the doctor. Hmm, so now what? He left through that door and uh, he locked it because of course, once again, he just uh, seems to have all the keys. Didn't have uh, that one though. Ah, this one, whatever. Well, uh, there is a second door. Hmm, what could be waiting for us uh, behind it? Beyond it? Who knows? Who knows? Hmm, can I really not have that maze? No. Ah, uh, what a shame. Ah, uh, it seems my strength isn't uh, high enough. Uh, need to level that some. Ah, uh, uh, behold, the humor. Hmm, still cannot examine him. Ah, uh, what a shame. Hmm, look at that. Is that meant to be a window? Hmm, all covered up, of course. But maybe it's a window. Perhaps the surface isn't so far away. Hmm, wouldn't that be delightful? Ah, alright, let's see. I bet something fierce is waiting for us. Therefore, I'm just uh, gonna equip the gun for now. I could, of course, equip the nightstick, but ach, you never know. You never know. Ach, remember that one creep? The one that uh, surprised me, jumped me, and the room was so tiny? Yeah, I am just saying. Better safe than sorry. A chair? Oh no, what is that chair gonna do? It isn't just uh, gonna stand there menacingly. Hmm, careful now. Careful now. Hello, is that something behind the door? You. Yeah. Oh god. Hmm, I remember this area. It's a locker room. 
I do believe a midwife shows up in there. Perhaps even two. But when? Hmm, a good question. Uh, it's been some time. What do our resources look like? Uh, I believe we still have plenty of ammunition. One second. Yeah, that's uh, certainly a lot. And our syringes, I believe uh, we have got two. So that's definitely good. Hmm, I believe at the end of the last episode, I said I was uh, gonna check how things uh, looked back then, nine years ago. And uh, yeah, back then, at this point, uh, my situation was definitely far, far worse. I believe I had only one clip left and no syringes at all. So uh, this is definitely not a situation to complain about. Of course, all of that could quickly change if I am not careful. Yeah. Hmm, gotta love these corners. Ah, enemies could be waiting for us. Ah, where are they though? Where are they? Hmm, I hope they are not gonna walk through solid matter again. Ah, that seems to be happening a lot in these days. Alright, nothing yet. Hmm, another corridor. Hmm, I can still hear the malfunctioning generators. It is quite irritating. Nothing yet, nothing yet, but ooh, another syringe. Hold on, is this a trap? Ah, sometimes they do like to just suddenly appear behind you. As a matter of fact, there is one enemy in particular, a unique one, uh, who does that. I don't know when, I can't remember, but there is one very evil enemy. Uh, one who just uh, appears behind you after you pick up a certain item. You. Hmm. Nothing yet. Uh, Bloody hell. Uh, the ammunition I am carrying right now is enough to put down a single midwife. Oh boy. Nothing in here, eh? Hmm. Can't trust those lockers. <gasps> what was that? I just heard something. Was it this bit here? Maybe walking over it created some noise. I am not sure, but this situation does not seem all that trustworthy. Gonna be nice and slow. Ach, remember, sometimes you can see them before they can see you. Hmm. The other side of the blockade. Need to find another way. Ah, I already found it, Simon. Calm down. Hmm, this again, eh? That room. You know what? I am gonna equip the shotgun. Ah, here we go. There. Alright, I've got nine shells. Ah, whatever is waiting for me in there, you better be ready. Ah, nothing at all. But there's our saw. Beautiful. Ah, exactly what I need. Now we can obtain that key. Hmm, anything else, though? Nothing. Can't examine these. Just a random office, eh? Ah, must have been fun, ah, working down here. Alright, I am just uh, gonna pick this up. And certainly, it's not gonna spawn an army of enemies. Oh no, that's not gonna happen. Don't be ridiculous. Hmm, you got the saw. Ah, that door did not burst. Beautiful. Hmm, here we are. A saw should be able to cut through flesh. Yeah, that's the first thing I think whenever I see a saw. Hmm, should be able to cut through flesh, right? Uh, I am I am not up to anything sinister. This is not perfect for my evening plans. Hmm, 
And now we go back. Bloody hell. It's about to happen. I swear, it's about to happen. Ach, it's so dark. Mm, I don't like it. No. Ach, although having a shotgun is certainly uh, beautiful, I don't think on this difficulty it is gonna one hit enemies. Oh no. Ach, we'll need to blast them at least uh, two times, which is unfortunate. But what can you do? God damn it, it is so dark. Ach, without the phone out. Hello. Nothing yet, but I swear it's about to happen. <laughs> ah, God damn it. Well, I got her. <laughs> I certainly got her. Ah, needed to spend two shells. Ah, exactly. As I was saying, Ugh, the game, uh, it uh, lagged there for a second, which uh, isn't nice. I don't want the game to lag when there are enemies around, bloody hell. There we go, back into full. Mm -hmm. I believe uh, there is a second one in here, but actually uh, we might be able to ignore her, maybe. This could work. Hold on. <laughs> ah, Alright, ah, looks like ah, we made it. Delightful. Perhaps I could have ignored the first one as well, but uh, I'm not gonna complain about uh, two shells here. Oh no, that was uh, quite efficient. So, here we are, again, the big guy. You have something I want. Uh, and uh, of course, Simon is just gonna do it. Yeah, um, he isn't gonna hesitate. Uh, he has uh, seen so much shit already. Just uh, add this thing here to the pile. All right, use the saw. Here we go. You got the rusty key. Yeah, I bet it was that easy. <laughs> Did you see uh, how little effort he needed to deploy to get through the thick skin of this bastard? Her skin, which uh, bullets cannot, I could not penetrate. Yeah, I bet it was that simple. But oh well. And now we have got some creepy ambience in the background. Can barely hear it, but it's there. All right, a rusty key. Hmm, found in. Wait, what? Found it in his stomach. Yeah, that's nice. Ugh, no additional context. I mean, uh, whose stomach? Ugh, what are you talking about here? Ugh, you wouldn't. You wouldn't immediately uh, jump into. All right, you mean uh, the stomach of that monster? No. Ugh, you'd be like uh, a stomach. Inside of uh, his stomach? Uh, all right, perhaps uh, we shouldn't be friends. Mm, but uh, it's cool. It is all cool. Uh, so now we are done with him. Uh, goodbye, my friend. Mm. And now, uh, not this door here. This is the door the doctor took. But the key can't open it. He locked the door. And he has got the only key that can open it, I bet. Right, doesn't work here. Ah, I just wanna say again, it feels awesome ugh, knowing that we have got free syringes. And uh, you definitely need to watch my original Let's Play to understand what I mean. Ah, well, you rest in peace too. My friend, ah, I'm talking about friends so much today, it's crazy. Hmm, perhaps I am just doing it because Simon doesn't seem to have any friends. Hmm, I am basically his only one. 
And I am just a voice, you know, <laughs> a disembodied voice. It's great. Mm. Time to save the game. Ach, bloody hell. Ach, when did we last uh, play Cryfear? Ach, on the 11th of April. And now it's almost the end of May. Damn. Well, sometimes things, they just get in the way. Ach, what can I say? All right. But, uh, believe it or not, there isn't actually that much left to this here chapter, in chapter two. As a matter of fact, we are almost done with it. Yeah, I believe uh, I've said this before. It is definitely one of the shorter chapters of the game. Uh, pretty straightforward. Yeah, but that means uh, we are about to hit the dreaded, dreaded chapter three. Oh my, not looking forward to that. Not looking forward to it at all. Uh, but as a result, um, in today's episode, it could become maybe, just maybe, a uh, somewhat uh, shorter one. Uh, usually, my episodes are like 40 into 50 minutes long. Uh, so far, I believe uh, we've got 20. Uh, perhaps in 20 minutes in this one. Uh, we'll see how long it's uh, gonna end up being. Alright, so this door here, uh, covered in graffiti. Mm, key, uh, rusty key, work your magic. Uh, you unlocked the door. I have absolutely no idea where this is gonna take us. The only thing I do know is that the nightmare isn't gonna end anytime soon. Oh no, Simon. Oh no. Brace yourself. Hmm, alright. It wasn't even necessary to save the game. Well, I mean, uh, I am gonna save it now, again, but hmm, wasn't necessary to use that tape recorder. And here is another syringe. Now this syringe being here actually makes sense because uh, of something which is about to happen. I do remember this syringe here is basically like a failsafe because uh, especially on this difficulty, if you enter the upcoming section with little to no health, you basically cannot make it through. You are going to take some damage. Therefore, uh, they are gonna... Well, make sure that you survive by giving you a syringe here. Isn't that nice? Thank you. And now we have got four, I believe. Amazing. Now, the funny bit is, I can't actually remember uh, whether or not this syringe was here nine years ago. I don't know if the, um, you know, the updated Steam release of Cryfear uh, added any syringes to make the game a little simpler, maybe? But I could be wrong. Mm, who knows? But yeah, this syringe uh, being here, you are gonna see why it is necessary. Alright, so what's gonna happen next? Mm, another cold and dead empty corridor. Uh, and here we have got a random lamp. Um, interesting. Can I do anything with you? No. Ah, uh, all right. I believe I just uh, missed something. I believe uh, that lamp pointing at the wall. I was meant to see something there, but what exactly? Mm, you know what? Oh. Ah, uh, that's not good. That's not good at all. Um, <laughs> but I can still save the game. That's nice. Right, oh, this section of the, <laughs> of Cry of Fear, of the second chapter is called You Will Die. Um, ah, pausing the game accidentally. Ah, what's going on? Ah, I'm losing it a little. Ah, uh, right, ah, we can't go back. It's just like the finale of chapter one, the apartment complex, suddenly bars appearing. Well, uh, 
Hmm. Oh my, that door is so far away. Now hold on a second, I am gonna do something here. Here we are again. Because I uh, just want to see, uh, was I meant to behold anything creepy here? Hmm, I do like to, you know, I like to stay ahead of me, uh, so to speak, which is why I immediately looked around the corner and not at the wall. Alright, so, what have we here? Ah, uh, right. Uh, some twitching fella. And uh, I could see uh, a corridor slash and tunnel. Well, that happened. Uh, but I can't go back. Beautiful. Uh, Simon, what's going on here? Uh, what are we in for? Mm, just uh, wait and find out. Yeah, this corridor looks safe, doesn't it? Looks very natural, very inviting. <laughs> Alright, uh, it was uh, covered in blood there for like a second or two, all over. And I could see a guy, uh, maybe in a suit, with a, a paper bag over his head. Uh, I think... Uh, oh dear. Oh dear. Mm, something is happening. I am losing frames again. That's unfortunate. But... Uh, who knows? As long as it doesn't affect in combat, you know, not too much. I mean, that was just like one frame. I can't live with that. Uh. <coughs> and now, this time, it was uh, a bloody, a bloody woman. Uh, just a, uh, you know, turning around every so often because uh, I feel like something might be sneaking up on us. Uh, but that was all, apparently. Nice foreshadowing there, by the way. I'm just gonna say, that dude uh, in the suit with the, uh, I believe, paper bag? It might have been something else. That dude, um, I believe, is actually an enemy type we haven't encountered yet. Uh, and uh, an annoying enemy type at that. Uh, just continue. I am just hallucinating. I mean, none of this is real. It can't be real, right? <coughs> oh, shit. Well... <laughs> well, well, well... This is not good. Oh my. Ah, the music, it is uh, ramping up now. This is not good. Uh, can I please leave? The door won't budge. Well, that's great. Uh, back into the other one. Oh, this is not good at all. Uh, nothing happening yet, but... Oh. Uh, the hole in the wall has returned. Great, so you are suggesting I should take this path instead? Uh, no. Ah, God damn it! you will die. Ach, you know what? Perhaps I will. As a matter of fact, uh, I am eyeing my health down there. I should probably uh, shoot up. Yeah, I think with that amount of health, we are going to die. Ugh, no doubt about it. I mean, we have got four. Just use one. Don't be stingy now. Oh. Ugh, much better. Certainly much better. Ugh, I tried to uh, do a wield. The shotgun there with the phone. Doesn't work. Ugh, silly me. Ugh, the wrong key. Alright, I'm gonna squeeze through here. Ugh, the walls are looking nice and rusty. Uh, what do you think? Uh, I think it's awful. Uh, I think it's kinda creepy. I don't like it. Um, I don't know what to expect. 
Do those answers uh, satisfy you? Uh, sign? Oh, uh, look, there's your friend. Do you like this? Uh, mm, I don't know. I mean, I do love horror, so I guess I do. I kind of love it, actually. But, uh... Speaking for Simon, I don't think he appreciates it. No, I don't think he does. You don't know anything. Aha, uh -huh. well, the joke's on you. I haven't played this game before. In fact, I know absolutely everything. Uh, but, you know, uh, just uh, gonna pretend. Yeah, uh, I don't know what's going on. Is this real? Is this just a nightmare? What have I done to deserve this fate? I have absolutely no idea. Not yet. Ah, keeping things interesting, eh? If you, uh, just could understand. Well, perhaps, uh, by the end of the game, we are gonna understand what's going on. Uh, I kinda don't like the syntax here. Yeah? Uh -huh. I do have to point this out. If you just could understand, I would prefer if you could just understand like that, or um, if you actually no. I just uh, I want the just to be uh, you know past the could. That's all I'm saying. Of course, this works here if you just could understand. Uh, but I don't know. Mm, I I just don't like it. I am not used to that kind of uh, you know. Ah, uh, oh dear, is this the end of the road? I never wanted this. Uh, well, who are you? Uh, never is apparently important. Uh, you never wanted this? Uh, well, why is it happening? And why must I suffer? Seriously. Uh, Alright, um, whoever you are, um, you had your fun. Could I please leave now? Oh dear. Yeah, uh, uh, what kind of a corridor is this? Uh, oh my. Uh, things are getting weird. Uh, weirder, I should say. Uh, they are getting weirder and weirder. Uh, I want out. And uh, you, what do you want? I, I just want uh, you to die. Just die. Ah, fitting that the music loop there, to just uh, hammer it in, a moment of silence. So, they just want me to die. That's all they want. Ah, what is waiting for us beyond this door, Dev? Ah, let us find out. Oh boy. Oh my. I am not liking this. Not at all. The black abyss uh, beneath our feet? Well, ladies and gentlemen, uh, I am just gonna say, in this area we need to keep moving, because if we don't, we are going to die. Also, uh, I wanted to save as much health as possible, therefore, uh, let us just, uh, let us just uh, go through it. Let us go for it indeed. The only way out of hell, as they say, is through. Oh my. You. The door just locked, by the way. Holy shit. No, 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 no. No, 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 no. Hands. Hands. Uh, I don't like it. No. 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 Hallucinations? Am I going insane? Shit. I need to get some help. Or at least just find my way back home.
I wonder who that sick doctor is. He must have done something to me. He's wearing a gas mask. And I am not. <sighs> ah, well, here we go. Chapter 3. <laughs> the city is not safe. Ah, you think? After all that? You think? Yeah, you might be onto something <laughs> there. Simon, ah, uh, hold on. Bloody hell, did you see that? Yeah, that section there is so deadly. Ah, uh, they, uh, they, they must have given you a syringe back then, too. I mean, I can't imagine it was otherwise. Is that correct? Can't imagine it was otherwise? I don't know. But uh, there, there must have been one back then. Because if you enter that area, that uh, long corridor with like zero health, you see, you saw rather, how fast those hands drained our, just our life away. Ah, bloody hell, I almost didn't make it, and my health bar was full. Man, this difficulty is just insane. It is absolutely, ah, just crazy. Ah, well, listen to that music. Ah, one of the many amazing tracks of this game. Sorry that I am talking over it so much, but back then, I actually, nine years ago, I tried not to talk over the music all the time, but as a result, in quite a few of my videos, they received strikes because of the music, so I need to keep on talking in order to keep it, you know, uh, keep it somewhat transformative. Uh, needing to make those uh, those uh, copyright holders happy, or whatever uh, you want to call them, anyway. So that happened. God damn it! To hell with that place. Uh, this truly is uh, a nightmare. Hmm. Can I go back? <laughs> oh my god. Oh. Well, well, there is the tape recorder. Oh. Ah, great. All the things ach, which we just experienced. Beyond that door, none of that was apparently real. But is this place real? I fought a monster here. It's still sitting there next door. Ach, what is real and what is not? Who knows? Who knows anymore? Simon isn't just suffering. Ah, it's just gone. All of it is gone. Ah, but it keeps going. Ah, this is not the end of it, no. This is only the beginning still. Chapter 3. God damn it, this chapter. We are here. So why am I hyping it up so much? Ah, right now I am just gonna say, this chapter, it has so many enemies. So many. It also has a boss at the end, and a couple of other nasty surprises as well. It can also at times be very stingy with the resources. If you don't pay attention, if you waste too much, which is definitely what happened to me back then, eventually you are just uh, gonna softlock yourself. Perhaps even hardlock yourself, yeah. Hmm, gotta be honest, I don't know, like, uh, the full difference, but it is so easy to find yourself in a dead end if you just waste your, your ammunition and your syringes. Uh, this time, though, I am, I am gonna try to be better. I am gonna pay good attention, uh, and uh, perhaps sometimes I am... I am Ugh, just I am. Sometimes I am just gonna mess up my words. Ugh, had to happen eventually. Perhaps sometimes I am even gonna ugh, load up an older save file to try to try again and do better. You know, like uh, if, for example, after a difficult uh, section, I am thinking, you know, ugh, we don't have enough resources left. I should try that ugh, once more. Yeah, this chapter. Who knows? Uh, perhaps it's gonna be totally easy. 
but those memories. Nine years ago, ach, I suffered a lot. I remember. Now, what have we here? I wonder, I wonder. Ach, could it be? The outside world? Ach, should I feel happy? No. <laughs> the city is, after all, not safe. Ach, that music was just uh, beautiful, by the way. Beautiful. But now it's gone. Ach, goddammit. Ach, I miss you already. go. Ah, I never want to go back down there. Ah, so what have we here? Could it be the surface at last? Hmm, maybe. Corridor after corridor. Hmm, maintenance shaft after maintenance shaft. The surface, it has to be somewhere. I mean, I just uh, ascended. Ach, what else do you want me to do? Ach, and by the way, ach, there, the phone. That person is still like, in here. I know, you're still in there, quite dead. Ach, that message. I am getting a little, ach, a little tired of it. Could some, ach, someone else please message me and tell me something good? I would appreciate it. <laughs> Ah, the surface at last. We are back. Bloody hell. Ah, I'm so sick of underground areas. And a new tape recorder. And a new syringe. Thank you. Still got free. That's awesome. Ah, but this is where the real torment begins. Ah, this situation here, this right here, is uh, perhaps the low point? Maybe, because uh, I believe uh, after we descended into the underground areas of chapter two, you know, after trying to phone the suicide hotline and the police back then I said, this is so hopeless. We are all alone and we are lost and no one will be coming to help us. Uh, this is just the worst, but uh, no. It, uh, it kept going. Things just got worse. Are we going insane? What's happening? The strange visions. The other world. The messages and so on and so forth. What's going on? Ach, the situation, it was quite hopeless. But ach, we have not yet hit rock bottom. I take it back. Is this the low point for Simon? Uh, the lowest he can feel? Hmm. Uh, well, right now, it's it's definitely looking grim, but uh, things can still get worse, yeah? Believe me, Cry of Fear is gonna find a way. Ugh, give me that. How long has that been sitting there? Ugh, I don't care. Just let me save. Ugh, you will die. Ugh, I didn't die, though. Ugh, how about that? Almost, though. Hmm. Almost. Huh. You don't understand anything, eh? Never wanted any of this. I just want you to die. Ugh. Who are you? And what have I done? Why do you want me to die? Why? Why? Huh. Well, in time, the answers will come to us, ladies and gents. There is still so much more to go. Well, I suppose ugh, I am gonna end the episode here. I just uh, want to see uh, what is waiting for us up here, if anything. Well, a lone tree is waiting for us. And the wind. Hmm, a street light in this here corner. Ah, Fevasome. Right. So, 
You could say the first chapter was maybe kind of the outskirts, a little bit of uh, the city, maybe. There wasn't much out there, just the uh, apartment uh, complexes or buildings or whatever, you know. Uh, and uh, a bunch of like maintenance areas. Ah, uh, sure. There was that uh, small part of the city with like the obelisk and uh, the... Uh, what was it? All of the cars and uh, the, the cafe, uh, the church and so on, yeah. And then uh, chapter 2 was kind of like just uh, maintenance areas and uh, sewer areas. But now we are, well, uh, we are about to enter the city proper. Uh, lots of buildings, uh, lots of streets, lots of concrete, and so on and so forth. Ah, uh, it's gonna be great. It is gonna be so great. Hello? Hmm. Hmm, right. Well, I mean, here you are. Uh, uh, in case in point. Uh, the city is now opening up. I can see them already. The cars. Uh, lots of buildings. A small concrete jungle, so to speak. <gasps> God damn it. Ugh. A new message. Mm, are you okay? You better come home now. I'm getting worried. Mom. Oh, Mom. If you knew... Ah, if you knew. Ah, actually, it's a good thing. It's a good thing you don't know. Well, I am... Uh, I am on my way. I am certainly trying to get home. Ah, uh, need to find uh, a subway station. Or something. God damn it. But between us and said subway station... Ah, uh, plenty of uh, things are waiting. And they aren't gonna make things easy, oh no. Also, I believe the birds outside, they have just begun to chirp once more, which means I should definitely end it here, the episode. Ach, ladies and gents, I hope that you enjoy it. Chapter 2 is over, but so many more are left. Ach, prepare yourselves. Next time, the horrors of Chapter 3, the city is not safe. You'll see. <laughs> uh, my name has been The Shadow Cookie. Thank you for watching and listening and everything. Hope you had a good time. And I'll see you all next time, of course. Until then, until then, have a good one. And uh, by the way, it feels good to be back. Who knows, perhaps it'll be another month before the next episode hits. But it certainly always feels good to be back. Missed you all. Missed you all. Until next time. <laughs> Until then.